So, you want to get the FR556 gold? Came to the right video. If you need any other gold guides, click the card on the top right of the screen. We'll show you a playlist of everything else I've done so far. So the first four camo categories, spray paint, woodland, digital, and dragon, are pretty much passive ones. The first one, we got spray paint to get 800 kills. This can work in any game mode, just any old kill will work. As you level up the gun, you're going to work on this the same as, as you're working on any of the other camos. So just a regular kill like this will do. Then we have a woodland. For woodland, you get 125 headshots. Again, this is a passive one. As you shoot people, sometimes they'll crouch into your shots or just something will happen, you know? You play this in any game mode, anything works, you'll get this over time. Find some dude laying down camp and just dome him. And then that counts as one. Then we have digital. For digital, you're going to have to get 160 crouch kills. This, again, this will work in any game mode. As long as you crouch, it works. So something like this will do. See so you guys, you crouch, get the kill. Then we have dragon. For dragon, you're going to need 75 hip fire kills. This is again a passive one. This can work in any game mode. And there are attachments you could use to get this faster if you're just trying to focus on this than any other one. For the muzzle, we have a monolithic suppressor to increase the range so if someone's far away and hit fire hits them, it's going to do full damage rather than some fall off. For the barrel, we have the FR 24.4 sniper. Again, for increased range, you're not going to ADS, so there's no point in having to counter that penalty you get for ADS speed being lowered. Then for the laser, we have the 5 milliwatt laser. It's so it can decrease the spread of the hip fire accuracy. It's just easier to get the kills rather than it spreading everywhere. Same with the Merc 4 grip. Then the 60 round mag so you can just keep shooting and not have to worry so much so as long as you donate a yes something like this will do there you go and we have splinter for splinter you're gonna need a hundred long shots for this one i use ground war there is a class setup you can use to focus on this camo i use the monolithic suppressor for increased range again then i use the fr 24.4 sniper for increased range a variable zoom scope but any optic will do it's more of a preference thing but it's nothing that will greatly increased because long range shots aren't too far away but the commando foregrip to have better recoil control but not at the penalty of ads speed as the barrel and muzzles can have penalty on that and a 60 rod mag keeps shooting doesn't love shooting just keep doing it and for topo you're getting 100 mounted kills best game mode for this would be ground war you don't want to do any of the core game modes because someone could easily spawn behind you run behind you whatever people are moving around too much but with ground war it's more predictable and you're able to better situate for mounted kills. Something like this to do. All you have to do is mount down. There you go, this one. Then we have Tiger. For Tiger, you're gonna need 180 kills with five attachments on your gun. By the time you get to this count challenge, you probably have a preference of what you want to use for your gun setup, but if you want to use mine, here it is. I got the FR 24.4 Sniper. Increased range is always good. Five milliwatt laser, better ADS and sprint to fire. The FS Tech Wrap, so you have better ADS speed. 60 round mag, keep shooting, man. And then the stippled grip tape for sprint of fire time. Then we have stripes. For stripes, you're gonna need 50 kills after reloading. There's about a two second window after you reload and then you have to get that kill for it to count towards this camo. It's not a big window for you to get a kill. So you're gonna have to situate yourself for this one as well. You see a guy around the corner, reload, then peek the corner and get him. The only perk that would really help for this would be sleight of hand. So you can just reload faster. So yeah, as long as you reload, you get the kill. It counts. And then we have Reptile. You need 110 kills with no attachments. You could play a hardcore game mode because you're going to be at a disadvantage, either Domination or TDM, Team Deathmatch. You could play Ground War, but the damage fall off can be kind of annoying. You're going to have to shoot people more often. The time to kill will just be greater. But if you put it into a hardcore game mode, it's just more balanced for you. And for the last camel challenge, skulls. You're going to need 35 three gun kill streaks. So, as long as you kill three guys within the same life, it counts. And if you get six, it counts as two for this camel. So, like this will do one kill, two, three. It doesn't have to be a triple kill, they can all be spaced out, but it will still count towards it. So, that's the end of this little gold guide for the F4556. If you found this helpful, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Any kind of feedback is always good. And if I missed anything or you want to add on to something, if an update came out and changed up this guide a bit, go ahead and leave in the comments. Help someone out. And yeah, thanks for watching. And consider subscribing if you want any more guides for Modern Warfare. Running and gunning our front and say humming. We come on with something. Keep ducking and puppy. You know you was front and you plundered the game. So now we back. We take an aim. The lane has changed. You lame's the same. You blame the fame. Complain but play the same. It's the same shit. The same tame for fame shit. Forgot about why you did it shit or who you even came with. So play me all your lame hits. Fiction. Top the playlist. Can't believe we finally made it. The bad for